everyone, Friendship Bonds here. Today, I'll be doing the second highest rated topic from my poll of controversial Thomas topics. It seems that you all enjoyed my discussion and opinion on why do I ship Emily with Edward video. And I think you all understood my information at where I am coming from and how to be respectful. So before I move on to the next discussion, this time, I'll be collaborating with one of my YouTube friends, and now I want you all to say hello to Sodor Express Studios. Hello everyone! A big thanks goes to Madison for featuring me in this collab. I am so glad that you could join along with this discussion. So, are you ready to discuss and give out our opinions on this next controversial topic? You know it! So. The topic we'll be discussing today is... Why Nia and Rebecca are so uninteresting in the TV series of seasons 22 to 24. So let's get started. Now, ever since the A Chef for Edward episode was released back in October of 2017, Mattel wanted to give an old slap to us fans to hype up Big World Big Adventures early and leave Season 21 unfinished. Sodor Express, how does it feel when a season was doing really well, everything has to be ruined out of nowhere? It felt pretty rough. Now, Season 21 had a lot of promise, until they just kicked Edward to the curb. But at least he was in character, and it tied into that little mini-arc that started with the fastest red engine on Sodor. I certainly do agree with you on how this season did have a good two-episode two-parter. But all of those missing episodes is now up in flames and burned out. And for A Chef for Edward's ending, it started a really big controversy from the fandom. And <sighs> it was especially rough. But at least when Edward left, he was in character. Like I said, there was nothing too out of context, and it was an aftermath of James's crash. It's much better than when Henry left for really no given reason. Yeah, that's true. After when Big World Big Adventures, the movie, and season 22 got its airing to the public, people became really mixed with the changes that were made to the show. Heck, even a season 22 episode actually showed a Thomas character going into our shoes when it came to the changes, like putting in two females in, into the steam team just to fix a gender imbalance. Does that sound like a petty excuse? Oh, it is. But now that we've talked about how these two characters came to be, let's discuss the characters themselves. Certainly. Let's start with the African engine, Nia. From her debut in Big World Big Adventures the movie, she followed Thomas along with his journey around the world while even dealing with Thomas's crappy behavior towards her whenever he just wants to be left alone. Now I gotta say that her personality in the movie was pretty decent because she is an engine who doesn't take Thomas's crap to heart. Even though this movie was pretty much a slow 80 minute slog, I would give that she had a decent personality in the movie. Sodor Express, do you have your short thoughts on Nia's movie personality? Oh yes. Now in the movie, Nia was really, really annoying. Especially while following Thomas on his... <sighs> big world adventure. Now she wasn't like this throughout the entire movie, but she can still get pretty irritating in some scenes. Too true. Overall, in Big World Big Adventures the movie, it wasn't too special when it comes to new characters that might sound pretty generic. But when season 22 came around, they decided to remove that personality and then make her really bland in the TV series. Now in the show itself, she's kind of just female Edward. But, there is a way to not even introduce her to the franchise. She can easily be replaced with Ashima. Thomas could just run into her on his travels. But I do like TV series Nia better than movie Nia. Even though I am a bit skeptical about Nia's bland personality in the series 22, 
I just don't find her appearances that at all interesting from a standpoint. Just because of how bland she is. I mean, in counting on Nia, she has this mental problem for not learning how to read numbers. Despite her having a clear recognizable number on her bonker. Yeah, that episode was pretty ridiculous. So, in summary, Nia has improved since her first appearance, but she's still not the best character. She's like, meh. Now let's move on onto the banana mobile. I mean, Rebecca. <laughs> and now we're getting into the good stuff. In Forever and Ever, Henry moves out of Tim Machette's for no apparent reason whatsoever. In the next episode, Confusion Without Delay, we are introduced to Rebecca, and surprise, surprise, she is basically an engine who doesn't show that much emotion other than showing the brighter side of things. I know that might sound nice, but it feels too nice for no apparent reason whatsoever. My turn. Now if you know me, you'll know that I hate the new direction of the show. I used to hate Nia, but now I just find her boring. She doesn't bother me as much anymore. But Rebecca, on the other hand, I really don't like. And we're about to enter rant territory, so get ready. Now I don't hate her simply because she replaced Henry, but for the fact that she is one of the dumbest characters in the show. Like in Confusion Without Delay, she runs into Winston because she hadn't calculated how long it would take her to stop. That's just so stupid. Not to mention, she's really annoying. The only decent moment she's had, in my opinion, was when she comforted Thomas and Thomas's animal friends. One of the worst episodes in the show. Plus, the only reason she was brought to Sodor in the first place was so she could sleep in Henry's spot at Tidmus Sheds. Seriously, go back and watch the episode. And it was never stated at all in the show that Gordon ever needed help with the Express. And, like Nia, she's easily replaceable. They easily could have brought Molly back. Or heck, just introduced Rosie to the Steam Team. They couldn't have made it more obvious that she's only there to fix the quote-unquote gender imbalance. Now, I don't want to sound too negative, so I'll leave it at that. But if you like Rebecca, that's totally fine. I don't think she's the worst character in the franchise, just really irritating. Back to you, Madison. Thank you, Soder Express. Despite on all of the things he said about Rebecca and how she can be stupid at times, and how she wasn't needed, my issue within her is that she feels like the goody two-shoes, but boosted up to 100. At least in The Adventure Begins, Edward's kindness was boosted up to be more caring than in season one, at least in my eyes. But it worked because he shows so much care to Thomas that he does not even care if he gets into trouble when he and Thomas switch jobs. Thomas and the trucks, to be exact. That sweetness was done tastefully. Here with Rebecca? A little too sweet. Like Sodor Express said, the show could have brought Molly back and develop her more within her nice but shy personality. I wouldn't mind bringing back new series characters into CGI form. It's just that Molly could have had more potential as a character than what Rebecca does. Pun. When it comes to character and personality. And she is also made to be a waifu for Gordon and... I just don't know why fans consider this to be a ship. Just to help Gordon within the changes? Just no. So yeah, Rebecca is just too sweet as a character and doesn't show any signs of flaws at all. Heck, even Emily shows more dignity when it comes to flaws. Sure, her bossy nature was so exaggerated in the new series, but at least it gives her a, some sort of character flaw. Yeah. But in one of the more recent episodes, Gordon and Rebecca coming through, it did make a little bit of sense for her to be naive, since she's learning. I agree with what you said about Molly. That personality would go great for Rebecca. But no. 
they just had to make Rebecca a more sickeningly sweet character. So yeah, final thoughts on these two characters? Yeah, they are really divisive within the fandom. Too true. But just because you've heard our opinions doesn't mean that they should affect yours. They have shown improvement, but they still have a long way to go. Nia is just meh. Being decent or annoying in the movie gets a slight improvement to just being incredibly bland. While Rebecca is just too sweet and even pretty stupid at times when it comes to episodes about her or her minor roles. She's not awful. So our opinions on Nia and Rebecca, we don't find them that interesting for the show to have because of how Mattel just really wants to push the girl power into the show while there were no problems like this during the past five seasons that we got from the past seven years. Like I said before, they're not the worst, but they're certainly not the best. So that is our thoughts on Nia and Rebecca. And if you disagree with our thoughts, politely comment down below your thoughts on what you think about Nia and Rebecca. Well then, thank you very much for joining me on this collaboration, Soda Express Studios. No problem at all. This was a lot of fun. It sure has been fun. The next topic I'll be discussing is... Why Misty Island Rescue is laughably bad, in my opinion. Can't wait for that. See you all in the next discussion video. Goodbye! Later, guys!